right, we're going to be going live, boys. We're going live. Make sure this mic's off. Should be going live here. We'll wait for a couple guys to hop in. I've got a pretty interesting little start to the show. We're going to have the Colts, the Broncos, as Prime would say, lit, fire, etc., etc. Hoping to have a couple boys join up in the stream. We're going to get on this. We're getting live, boys. We're live on the SML Network today. Big game. Should be a good game. It's a huge, absolutely huge game. Gain, and I can't wait to commentate it, even if I do it solo. I am the SML's number one personality, so I can do it. We're going to take a look. We'll bring up the... I hate how they got ads on Daddy Leagues. Daddy Leagues sold out on me. The 5-2 and two Indianapolis Colts versus the 7-0 and oh Denver Broncos. Big Dan, Dirty Dan versus Baby Prime. Daddy League's estimated score, Colts 19, Broncos 29. The Colts are averaging 26 points per game. The Broncos 33. The Colts are allowing 24 points per game. And I'm going to wait. I feel like I'm talking to myself right now. I think I'm by myself. Let me know when we get some people in the chat. See if we can get some boys to join up. Oh! What's up, buddy? Fins, what's up, bro? Bring it all the way up there in Canada, eh? So, it's going to be a big game. Absolutely huge. It's a huge game. We can't wait to bring it to you. It's going to be fantastic. I, I must say, it's going to be fabulous. I'm going to bring it here. Um, it's one of a kind. One of a kind. It's a great game. I can't wait to do it. I'll take Colts minus 10 if you're offering it. Plus 10, he says. All right, so Daddy Leagues. Colts 5-2. and two, Broncos 7-0. and oh, Dirty Dan. Prime time, 0, zero, zero. The GOAT, 17 time. Uh, Daily League's estimated score, Broncos 29, Colts 19. Broncos averaging 33 points per game. The Colts 26 points per game. Broncos only allowing 12 points per game. The Colts allowing 24. Nearly identical in rushing yards. Nearly identical in passing yards allowed. Um, Colts have a slight edge on the passing yardage gained, 258 to 234. Red zone percentage... Uh, Dan's just a much better scoring, 94% in the red zone. Third down, Colts on slight edge, 59% compared to 51%. The Colts also giving the ball away, you know, more times. But we're getting ready to roll the film. I was hoping to get a couple more people on here, but uh, I got to get going with this broadcast. They're getting ready to kick off in six minutes. So this is going to be, oh, yeah, we ready. We ready. All right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to roll the film. Oh, I better switch the... Alright. We're going to roll the film. Let me know. Just for a second here. Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. It's uh, Pastor Prime. 11-time um, SML champion. And I just wanted to let you guys know I had a great comeback win over Jacksonville last night. The greatest comeback in SML history. And I guess I'm going to go ahead, break things down, show you how it's done, how champs do it. So before we go, uh, get into this, I just want to let you guys know, simmaddenleague.com. All right, that's all you need to see. The beginning of that, it was Pastor Prime, the original preacher man himself, primetime000. I'm going to bring him on the show real quick. Uh, Prime, I need you to call me on Discord. I'm going to try to, to bring you on real quick. Do just a quick at his thoughts. Like I said, it looks nearly identical. Hoping for a good game. Let's see, I think Prime might have blocked me on Discord. Actually, we're no longer friends. It looks pretty good. I mean, that nearly identical game. They're averaging one sack each. I mean, you can just go through the stats. Nothing, no huge outlier except the fact that Dan's putting up a couple more points per game. And I think the biggest difference is the red zone. Prime seems to peter out in the red zone. We're gonna ask him about that. We're gonna bring him on right now. We're going to bring in the GOAT, 17-time champion, primetime, 000. What's up? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Great to have you. we got a couple minutes here just before your big game. What are your thoughts going into this game? Oh, man. You know how it is. Dan is a great player. He's undefeated, but sure. the person he hasn't beaten, that is me, like hardly ever at all the cycles. So I'm feeling good. 
All right, so I was kind of going through the stats. I don't know if you heard. Um, the biggest difference is your defensive red zone percentage, 87%, his 77%. Mm-hmm. And even bigger than that was his offensive red zone percentage compared to yours. So he's yeah. going 94%. He's scoring in the red zone. You're only at 78%. What's the biggest difference? Hey, what's up, Happy Bummer? So you've got – you're running back JT. That's been your bread and butter. And this kind of takes you back – I don't know if that was back when we were SGC or just starting off yeah. the SML T. Rich. I mentioned that before, the Trent Richardson yes. days. So is that kind of where you're doing it, the check down offense? I haven't really seen too many of the big explosive plays, and you've just really been relying on the check downs and your running back. Is that why you're petering out like you're just not – as comfortable with the quarterback yeah i'm just not as he's he's not as mobile as luck was so so in the red zone i like rolling around with luck getting in sure. the end zone getting those yards so so when you pass it in the red zone you could always run it obviously with frank george quite not the same mobility uh obviously to the trent richardson when i made him good which was which is obviously weird um right. yeah i like that style of offense a little more balance i think balance wins championships if you're too dynamic passing the ball and you're not a good runner, I think it's tough to win come playoff time. So everybody, or at least you and a few others, likes to poke holes at Dan, poke a little fun at his expense. Yeah. A lot of people saying that he likes to do the film study. Not only does he pray yes. to baby Jesus yes. every night that he gets the dub, which is interference, is divine intervention. We can't have that. It should it's be a rule. Illegal. Illegal. Mm-hmm. Don't like it. Um, do you think that the film study is real, or is that just some little narrative that you're spinning around? Oh, 100% real. I've talked to Dan in private. In private, Dan has said he film study. He film studied RD really? in the Super Bowl, and he said he overstudied, and that is why he lost RD. I'm curious to see what he uh, did for this game. I know he's he spent some time studying. I just don't know how much. He won't say. So what's going to be your keys to success in this game? What What's your plan of attack? We only got a few minutes before kickoff. Yeah. Um, I wish I knew. You know, he – I think I think that he's really good at making people have to check the ball down and run the ball. That's how I beat him in the AFC Championship game. You, you can't focus on the deep ball. If you do, you'll get beat against Dan. He's really good at forcing turnovers. He's really good at making people play the short game, and, and, and he, he likes getting pressure. So I think just checking the ball down, running the rock, and, and knowing, hey, it's going to be – you're going to have a lot of third downs, and you're going to have to convert them against Dan. And there's going to be a point in the game where I need to complete a big pass, and that will be the difference. So my big – my final question for you, and this may be the biggest factor in all of this, who is the best SML preacher, you or Dirty Dan? Uh, Dan's the best preacher, but I'm the exorcist, and I'm here to to exercise that demon right now and and, and show him him how it's done. All right, Prime, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you get back to game prep and get your mind right. Throw up mm-hmm. some Hail Marys or mm-hmm. get your little hot sauce or whatever it is we need to exercise <laughs> these demons with. Get ready for a big game. It's going to be – give us – just give us the thing. It's going to be lit, boys. It's going to be fire. It is the SML Network. It is prime time. That's field. It is Colts. It is Broncos. It is prime. It is Dan. Let's get fired up, boys, for another big-time SML matchup. Hey, we appreciate the GOAT tuning in. Uh, good luck to you, buddy. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate it. We'll get you on after the game. Thanks. All right, guys, that was Primetime 000, Commissioner of the SML. We're getting ready to kick off here shortly. 15 viewers, appreciate you all tuning in so far. Um, I'm assuming we've got some primer guys out here. King of Spades, Happy Bomber, Mr. Jackson Jr., Double Rice, No Bean. Appreciate you all tuning in. My boy Finn's always in there. And Peepaw Jr., Peepaw Squared, Woods, Steezo, Dogwood. Appreciate you boys tuning in, getting live in the chat. We're going to be kicking off here shortly. I'm waiting on... Dirty Dan, I'm sure he's probably tucking the kids in or, you know, just doing Dan things out there. So we're, I'm waiting for him to go live, and as soon as he goes live, we'll bring you the game. Um, hoping that it's going to be as competitive as what we're looking at in the stats. I'm still not seeing Dan, so I may have kicked off a little too soon, but that's okay. We'll keep rolling. Appreciate the Primer guys for tuning in here. Maybe I'll give you a little bit of a impromptu playing the field podcast. They failed sending the, the invite to dance, so we're in luck. But biggest stories around the SML right now, Jacksonville Jaguars. I know he's in the game, so I don't know how that's playing out. Bomber 7-0, Broncos 7-0, Ravens 8-0, Vikings 7-0, and WFT or WTF is 7-1. A lot of great teams playing well. Meats was the Cinderella story. He was really down in the dumps. He was playing kind of the emo schoolgirl, really down on himself, and now he's rebounded 6-2. It's lit. It's fire. And they're going to be kicking off here very shortly. 
I think I'm doing this one solo, so if you guys get annoyed by my voice, just hit the mute button. But if we need to adjoy, uh, adjust any game volume or whatever, just let me know when we can play it by ear. Should be a good game. Well, um, the game will be here on the Sim Madden League Twitch account. Don't uh, pay attention to Dan. I have to watch that and commentate over. So, hoping for hoping for a good game. Honestly, I'm not really sure what to expect. I'm still waiting on Dan. Apparently, Prime Prime getting a little upset. I guess we jumped the gun. Hopefully, this isn't a big old bust. But uh, I guess I'm gonna go back to my my pregame show. He said one second. So we're gonna go ahead and. I'm just going to keep rolling with my show until they figure out what they're doing. Paulie is currently the AFC East division leader, 4-3, and three, and he's in a tight one with my boy Matt and Noel Overlord. The AF People want to talk shit about the AFC South and AFC, or the NFC South and the AFC North being the struggling teams or the worst divisions, but the AFC East is not looking too hot right now. They're right there in the thralls of it. AFC West, of course, Dan's got that on ice, and unless NYT screw things up, the AFC North should be put away and then you got the Colts and Jaguars battling out but right now Bomber's got a two game lead possibly third depending on what his game shakes out to be NFC South I'm not doing well I lost to Dominic's CPU and the Panthers today Amy. NFC North the Vikings currently have a five game lead on the Packers and Lions at 7-0 compared to 2-5 and five. good lord the NFC West we've got the Cardinals 6-2 and two, Rams 5-2 and two. kind of I don't know if they still have to play but it's going to be a tough race right there. I feel like RD is going to get it done and get the crown there. The AF, excuse me, the NFC East, it, it's still a decently close battle. And congrats to Rowanka. He's got 500 M's, as he likes to call it, in the bank. And his team doing really well. 6-2, WFT, 7-1. The Eagles, 5-3. and three. Graham's holding in there at 3-6. and six. I don't think he's going to be able to make it, quite make it a race, but... Hey, you know, congrats to the boys that are out there. We got a lot of good playoff matchups going down. So, we should be going here shortly, according to Prime. Waiting on Dan. Dirty Dan to load up. That way we can get this game underway. Appreciate everyone tuning in to the, uh, the pregame show. So, if you got any questions, anything that you want me to, to talk about, go ahead and hit me. We'll be kickoff. Dan says, sorry, PS4, load up. Come on, Dan. Get yourself together. Get yourself together, little buddy. You can do it. I have faith in you, Dan. Maybe not so much anymore. But, go through some stat leaders. Bates, the SML leading passer with 2,500 yards, 16 touchdowns. That's the Jets quarterback. And that kind of, Latin pissed me off with them quick little hitch routes and little quick hitters he was hitting down the seam route to his tight end. So if you're playing Latin, watch out for some, some little bougie things. We got Russell Wilson, Bobby Pearson bringing up the rear there. Almost five 1,000 yard rushers halfway through the season. Receiving leader is Quinston Yates. Seven touchdowns and 972 yards. He's currently at... Well, it's the Chiefs. What is... What are you doing out there, Raider? You're throwing it to a number two. We got kickoff, boys. We're going to go ahead and transition as soon as the video loads from me. I will bring it to you live. Dan should be going live here. I promise. This time we're going... Oh, we're live, boys. Thank God, because I got tired of talking about myself. We're going to go ahead and transition. It's going to be lit. I don't have game audio. Oh, I think I muted it. There. We may have to throttle that down a little bit. We're loading up. Should be a good one. I got to respond to Dan. We lost about half our viewers. They got tired of listening to me waiting for the game to load up, but we're all right. So if you guys need something turned up or turned down, let me know. We've got kickoff. Colts kicking off. I think that Prime kind of prefers that, to be honest. 
It's lit. It's fire. And it's going to be a touchback. All right. Broncos got football first. He's looks like he's going to go under center. Probably going to try to establish the run. That's kind of Dan's forte. We'll see what he does. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They're having connection issues right off the bat. First down from the 25. I don't know if Dan can't pick a player or what's going on here, but... McDowell goes under center. One wide receiver split out to the right. Appears that he's going to play action. Either going to shift his line to the right or double team out there. He sets up that play action. He's probably going to look for the posty. Throw away. Brings up second down. Not a bad move there by Dan. He's not going to make the stupid throws that guys like me do where you just go ahead and say, eh, fuck it, I can make it in there. He's going to take... So he's going to take his throw away, live the die another down. He's going shotgun. I wouldn't be so. Also, when you're watching a Dan stream, be prepared for a lot of out routes, corner routes on the receivers, also swing passes, out routes from the running back, and a steady dosage of the running game. McDowell split back, shotgun, probably split close. I wasn't paying attention. It's a run to Yates. Minimal gain there. It looks like about two yards. And Denver already has an injury. One of their many 99 overall or X-Factor receivers goes down Judy. That brings up third down and eight. Oops, I keep touching my mic or my mouse. We got third down. I would look for him maybe to... Oh, I've seen this play before. He's honestly... I think he just takes it to the running back normally is his primary on this. But we'll see what he does. Third and eight. Press coverage on the right there from the Colts. Yeah, he was looking for the running back all the way. He is sacked. Big play there for the Colts. And Judy, big injury news. He has broken ribs. Will not be back for this game. The Broncos are forced to punt. Fourth and 21, and the Colts are starting favorable field position right around midfield at the 47. Colts going single back bunch. Look for either a run or possibly the tight end angle out of this to start the game. George Bowes under center. Hand off to Taylor. Gain of eight. That's going to be his bread and butter. If he's able to get the running game going, Dan will probably lose this game. Single back, dice slot, three wide. I think he's hoping that Dan doesn't pay attention where it says single back. That's why he's calling a lot of these three wide receiver sets and hoping to get the nickel and those sets. We'll see. Probably just another run here. He's going to try to establish the run early. Another straight down the middle to Taylor. Kind of bounces out to the left. Two carries, 12 yards, and a first down in the enemy territory. Dan kind of switching around who he's got on the defensive front. Prime gun doubles, Y flex, three wide. A lot of three wide sets. He's trying to get him in the nickel, get in preferable. This is probably another run. Nope. Screen. Taylor. Dan saw it, but it didn't matter. He got a, a nice block. Gain of eight. Gain of seven, they're going to call it. George's first pass of the game. Gun doubles offset. Three wide. Yo, what up, Meats? George out of shotgun. Bronco shifting the line, anticipating a run. It is a run. Taylor... Gets a seam and a nice gain for the first down. Three carries, 23 yards for Taylor on this opening drive for the Colts. 4.37 to go in the first quarter. Dan making a lot of substitutions right now. He does not like giving up 
these runs. He feels that Prime is trying to out muscle him, so he's going to go ahead and switch things over. George under center. A little stretch play to Marlon Mack. King of five. You're caught four. Dan does a lot of nickel sets. You see a lot of nickel three three five. Colts going with gun double offset three wides. Looks like a run to me. Just the way that nope. Well, angle route covered well initially. Be over pursued. Throw away. Bring up third down and six from the twenty. He's in field goal range. The biggest thing is is not to have a turnover here. Up to seven viewers now. Still rolling. Dan going dollar defense on third down. Probably going to call either cover two or that cover three press with the spy. Nope, it was called cover three. And I wouldn't be surprised. We'll check down to Taylor. It's there. And a big gain after the fact. Yeah, I mean, that's the bad part about cover three. You leave a lot of those flats open to the running back. Got all the way down to the four. Colts in striking distance. He's probably just going to try to outmuscle him and get the touchdown by via the run. Looks like a blitz coming. Simmons meets Taylor. Loss of a yard. Dan pretty good at reading uh, reading plays and finding the gap. A lot of game film and then just a lot of talent to back it up for Dirty Dan. Colts going shotgun here. Wouldn't be surprised to see a screen or a run out of this. There you go, the tutty for Jonathan Taylor. The Colts draw first blood here on the road. Let's see if Prime's in and allows him to make the extra point. It's good. Let's see if Dan can answer. I think Prime's had a little bit more success against him in the regular season where the gap has been a little bit more spread. But he does not appear to be scared to play Dan. Dan made a questionable call last season trading his quarterback away to play, I believe, to Figs and drafted this McDowell. McDowell not horrible, but he's not the best QB out there. Looks like a little RPO to set things up with. Hand off to Yates. Game one. Running game not look so good when you got to place all those X-Factors on the other side. All right, we got McDowell under center. Colts anticipating a pass, it looks like. Pitch play called. He's going to run that pitch. Prime got picked up to block. Nice gain there. Out to the 32 by, I don't know if it's Calais or Calais. Third down and three. Dan absolutely needs to pick up a first down here. You cannot punt. Two minutes to go here in the first quarter. One drive apiece. This is Dan's second. He's going shotgun split close or some variation of it. Looks like he's going to look for the seam route right down the middle, anticipating the cover two. It's there. Nice. Big pickup. Gain of 25. McDowell with the late, and it was cover three. Still big lazy lays down the middle. Very nice. Dan keeps it going. He's going under center now. Looks like halfback dive to Yates is called. RPL. Going to a pass. He's either going to look for the, is that an out route? No, Hamlin's running a dig. Dig's probably going to be there. Prime covered it nicely. Nothing to speak of. No, he didn't catch that. Second down. Going gun doubles. 
Another run here. Dan trying to favor the run right now. Handoff. Gain of about six, maybe seven on the play. They're going to call it five. Third, none of their third down. Third and five. This is where Dan somewhat struggles. He's only doing it 50%, 51% of the time. Really good, though. Let's see if he can get another conversion on this drive. Not an obvious running down, though. Is he going to try the, the jet sweep? Yeah, I think he's going to try the jet sweep. Timeout. 32 seconds to go in the first quarter. Dan says he's been through 11,000 playbooks this cycle alone. He plays Madden exclusively from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. every night when his wife leaves. Doesn't watch his kids. He locks them up in the closet like Harry Potter, and he just laps things in practice mode. He says doesn't even care about the kids. Throws them a lunch bowl, water bowl, and that's it. Dan going shotgun, third and five. Two wide receiver set. He's checking out the uh, X Factors. Yes, there are many of them out there. He just needs to get a couple yards in the Villa range. Ooh, big gain. Kelsey. A little surprised that one wasn't covered. Prime probably just playing stock on the his flat adjustment. I'm trying to go right back with the run now. End of the first quarter, Colts 7 nothing. Dan is ringing the bell right now. He's getting in distance to ring that sucker. Shotgun, McDowell with the handoff. Calais, Calais gets the tutty, and that puts Dirty Dan right back in it. Oh, you know for sure that he's not giving his kids the name brand Lunchables. He's going, getting the expired shit from Sam's Club. It's got a little bit of mold on it. Don't even have the crunch bars. It's got some off-brand, generic. Oh, he made the extra point. Generic uh, candy bar. It's hard and breaks your teeth out. I'd eat it, but. I don't know what uh, Meats is trying to say here. Single back ace, two wides. I hope Dan don't sell it too hard against the run because he's due to try a deep shot play action. Could be here. Play action was there. A little late going to Taylor, but he tries it anyway. Nothing gain. Prime's offense is kind of like a moped. They're fun to ride, but you don't want to be seen out in public with it. Here he goes. Shotgun. Dan covered the tight end. Oh, Taylor doing some X-Factor. Th There's no way. I'd like to see this game without uh, the abilities, dude. Anyway, nice little check down offense there to the running back. Taylor, like I said, that's the offense. You need to give him anybody else but Taylor. Man up. Even if you got to give up something to a tight end. A little screen here to Metcalf. Thanks, Tiny. That completion was brought to you by Tiny Titans. Poor GM abilities. 7-7 seven seven ball game. 5.40 to go and ticking. Colts with the football. Moving it near midfield. Colts going pistol here. Probably stretch run. Play action. PA boot. He's got it. Nice read. Cross in midfield. George, 6 of 7, 58 yards to start the game. Hasn't made any boo boos yet. Going back under center. Looks like maybe a safety blitz. Loading the box up. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a 
He's either maybe one city was maybe he just brought that guy down in the box and spied him. It looked like. Colts going single back, three tight end. I feel like this is a play. There's a play action here. Get the first down. I mean, Taylor's just. Whatever he's getting paid, he deserves more. He was stuffed, and he still just carried him. That's so frustrating. I, I feel bad for Dan right now. First and ten. Colts, seven. Broncos, seven. Colts moving it. George going shoddy. Uh-oh. Watch out for that jet pass. There it goes. Nice little sweep out to Campbell. Second and two. Probably mixing this play calling well, keeping Dan reeling a little bit. Like, oh shit, what do I do? Oh, Dan probably wouldn't say that. He'd go, gosh darn it, what would I do? I form close. Is it the stretch? Is it the ISO or a play action? Nice job, that Taylor there. Prime is not afraid to run the football. We're at the 26, 3.09 to go. Now below three minutes. Time ticking. Dan showing blitz, press covering, and I don't know. It's kind of a dangerous call, man. I know he's trying to load the box. Nice cut. Didn't lose anything. Second and ten. Single back, ace pair, two wides, two tights for the Colts. Going under center. Taylor is tired, so he may check out of this. But then again, you have a preferable front. Nobody open. I mean, he does have the guy on the far left open. His scramble kind of screwed that up for him. Wow. Nice improv there by Prime. Scrambled left, throwing back out to his right. Big play there by Childress. Down to the four, two-minute warning. Colts knocking, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Big play. It was huge. So we got first down from the four. Looks like a blitz coming here. George with a handoff. Taylor running over three guys. Gets two yards. Ten carries, 35 yards, and a touchdown. Not great from a yards per carry, but he's been moving it he's still getting it prime's just going to be dedicated to the running game he doesn't want to throw the picks down here he's not wanting to make the stupid throws he's just waiting for that one scene to break another handoff to taylor why not gets about a yard this is a long third and one from the one minute 17 the broncos using their second timeout meets screaming cheesy so now Dan doesn't have all of his timeouts. He's going to have less than a minute, likely, unless he uses this timeout here if he stuffs him. But if he's got to play catch-up, I don't like his odds. Single back, three tights. Interesting. Nice stuff there by the Broncos. Loss of two. Colts have to take the field goal. So Dan like showed blitz. He moved, shifted a lot of guys around. That was enough to set him up and got a nice uh, penetration and block shed and just it was a nice play. Let's see if he can make the field goal and go up ten to seven. No timeouts now for the preacher man. Boswell, no field goal block coming. Maybe anticipate a fake. Looks like Prime called a fake or something because he's letting this thing take down. Interesting. Ooh, didn't look good. It is good. It's 10-7. Colts 
with the lead. A minute 11 to go here in the first half. A little surprised that he didn't just straight up go for it. We went ahead and took his points. Rodgers taking the kick back for the Broncos. Sets him up nicely here near the 40. I mean, you only need, what, 20 yards or so to... What up, Hova? You only need about 20 yards or so to set you up with a field goal. Look for one of Dan's money plays, money routes here. He's going to find something. McDowell. I, I know he runs this a lot too. I think he just kind of looks either like I think he looks for 13 on the seam, or he'll just take his dig route. And if you got man to man, you take the out and up. Nothing's there. Fumble recovered by the Broncos, and that one hurt because it's going to lose a lot of time. And he made us have to let this one go to half by the time we're all said and done here. Wow, ballsy call there. I guess he thinks that I want to call the timeout, dude. But second and 30, 56 seconds to go. That was interesting. Colts covered everything pretty well there on defense. There was nothing cheap, nothing deep. Looks like he's going to try the sweep. Nope. Hand off Calais. 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 Gain of five. Yeah, I don't understand the call on second down to call a timeout unless he accidentally clicked the defense again. Third and 25 from his own 23. Probably going to be about 20 seconds by the time. Wow, there's barely any time ticked off. Okay. I don't know if he's bluffing his play art intentionally now because that's the second time I just saw that unless he's checking out and not showing his play art before he... Snaps it. He may just run this here and just see what happens since there's not going to be a whole lot of time. He's going to run the sweep. Hamler taking it. Shake and bake. Gain of seven. Prime, I guess, wants the punt. I don't know what purpose this serves, but you can't take him the half with you. Probably gonna get coffin kick, bro. Four, three, three seconds. Ball from the 33. You'll probably just see a handoff and then halftime. It is past Prime's bedtime. He's not really thinking straight right now. Hail Mary. I mean, I, I'd probably just hand it off to Taylor or do a screen to Taylor. I don't like your odds of getting. The second coming of the Sunday play. He's manning up on everybody, though. It's interesting. Big sack coming. Interception, possibly. And it's intercepted. Bad call by Prime. Let's see if he can get it. Douglas across midfield. He doesn't really have many people to beat. It's just alignment. Jonathan Taylor trying to track him down. He's going to get the touchdown. That's why you don't take the Hail Mary before the half. And Prime pays for it. Huge play there by Dan. And a tutty. Hit as he threw it. That one was an uh-oh. That one got Dan right back in it. That's why you hand it off or whatever. There's no, no logical reason to throw that. Dan up 14 to 10 at the half. Pretty, pretty clean first half to start with. Not a lot of stupid turnovers outside of that one, which may wind up being the game changer. Prime with the football. I don't know why my mouse ain't disappearing. Okay, we got 14 to 10 Colts football. Now having to come back. Errant decision there. I have to write that one down here for the post game. Hand it off to Taylor. Shaking and bacon. Well 
Single back wing slot, two wide, two tight for the Colts. Going under center. Second down and seven. Dan going with a 3 4 Cub. Shifting. Taylor don't care about the shift. I think had he not run to the right, I feel like the better hole was out to the left. But 14 carries, 40 yards, and a tutty for Taylor. Yeah, you can't make those mistakes. I mean, that, gave, that was a huge swing. It could have just been 10 to 7 and a half. Now you're down at the half, and this touchdown's not going to give you the type of lead it would have. You would have been up 10 points. Mm -hmm. Wow. Threaded. Oh, Taylor with a. It was a nice timed hit there by 21. Forcing fourth down. Not a gimme. He has to punt it. Yeah, Paulie. Prime had a lead. He made a very pedestrian rookie mistake. He decided to go for a Hail Mary. He was up 10 to 7. Mere seconds before the half. Threw a Hail Mary. Pick six. And now he's down 14 to 10. Dirty Dan with the football. Welcome to the stream, my boys. Welcome to the stream. Denver, first and 10 from the 30. Looks like a little RPO. Hand off to Yates. Gain of five on the play. Second down and six. They're calling a gain of four. McDowell bows under center. I like that post route. He's going to check to a run. Another run to a stretch. Going to go ahead and look. We already know. they got all kinds of abilities everywhere. Nice. Looks like he got the first down. Or if not, close to it. Dan did a really good job running outside. No problem, Polly. I got you. I got you, fam. All right. He's going for the post. I don't know if it's because he sees a lot of cover. It's not going to be there. The check down is, though. Ooh, big hit. Didn't matter. Calais says, what the fuck's up? He got a first down. I thought he was short, but Broncos move on. They're moving it midfield. He switched his running back out, so maybe he pounds the inside with Yates and runs it outside with the other dude. Or he's going right back with another stretch run. Run inside. Yates, big hole. Gain of about eight. Gain called six. My bad. I'm blind tonight. We got second and four. I think Dan's looking for them, the jugular. The game changer is going to be that pick six of the half, I think. I think it's going to cost Prime the game. His defense not getting the stop now. Everything's changed. Dan's got a little bit more swag to him. Running back shaking people off. First down. We got first and 10 from the 38. Three minutes to go. Prime seemed to have a handle on this game until the uh-oh. And now Dirty Dan is making some noise here. Possibly some divine intervention. Welcome to SML Church. McDowell, looking. See, I like the, should have been intercepted. I thought he was going to have the dig route, and he went ahead and went for the seam. Got a little greedy. I think he had the, the dig from O. I really felt like he was getting underneath all that. I don't know, but second down and 10. I don't know if Prime switched the big hits on. Dan going conservative ball here. There have been a lot of big shots taken by these Colts defenders. Playing dirty. Dirty is dirty, Dan. 
Looks like he's got a run called on second down and 10. Oh, quarterback run. He's pretty quick. Third down and six. Huh. Dan's got some huevos to him. Third down and six, he needs this. But you also don't want to throw a pick because you're in field goal range. It puts you up a full tutty. See what, see what happens here. He's really good about taking his check downs. I wouldn't be surprised if he picks one up. And he's calling a lot of dig routes. Big hit by the Colts, and that forces fourth down. What kind of five up? Fourth and six. Long field goal, 51 yards. I think he's got it. He got it. Broncos up 17-10. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Kickoff here for the Broncos. Sampson fielding it for the Colts. Touchback. So it'll be interesting if Prime gets a little too aggressive now if he goes back to the, the ride and grind. Hand off to Taylor. Check down to Taylor. I don't think between Bombers... Defensive front, his blitzes, and the coverage on the back end that you want to take too many shots deep against this guy. And obviously his user in the middle is really well. So, we'll see. Hand off to Taylor, getting back dirty with it. Not getting big yards, though. Stick down at eight. What's up, Bomber? Second and eight, Colts going shotgun. Looks like another nickel three three five for Bomber, or, or excuse me, Dan. I wasn't paying attention. Another check down to Taylor. Shake and bake, face mask to boot. Polly feeling good. Did you beat the Ravens, Bomber? I know you both were undefeated. I didn't get a chance to watch that. Got single back three wide for George and the Colts going under center here. We got some press coverage. Looks like man to man. Maybe Prime recognized that. He takes the to Ninjoku. First down. Oof. Bomber saying NYT is not good. Bomber just called NYT not good. Shots are fired from Bomber. He's like, oh, it's easy for me. No problem to take on peasants like NYT and Field General 007. Fuck you, Bomber. Taking shots at us. Lower tier teams. George under center looking. Nice out route to Metcalf, courtesy of Tiny Titan. Yeah, he's taking shots at Mike FML too. Let me take shots at us, Bomber. Just because you have a beard and stuff. <laughs> We're better than that. First and 10. 17 to 10. Colts moving it. Trying to strike back. 48 seconds to go. George looking. I'm not seeing much, Prime. Throw it away, Prime. There you go, Prime. Whew. Second down to 10. 44 seconds to go to the third quarter. Ball in the 24. Meets, we've all been sucking you off for a season to build your confidence up. I didn't want to have like some type of a suicidal call at your house. I'm not driving that far to handle that. Screen jumped well there by Simmons. But yeah, don't pick on Meats either, Bomber. Picking on us. Third and 14. Bad screen there by Prime. So, what, were you cover four? Were you cover three? I wasn't paying attention. Third and 14, Colts empty back set. Don't know if I like that with Chubby. You got to slide protection or double team him. He did not. He's got Taylor. Taylor got the first down. And now we're in the fourth quarter prime. Ice water in his veins and really no blitz. And Chubb didn't get the pressure there. Nah, I'm the older brother. Meets, uh, I wouldn't make comments like that. I may have to come there and, and spoon you. Here we go. We got a... Prime's got that little, little twitch down. Nice little juke and uh, inside cut there. 
All right, we got 17 to 10, 6.49 to go. Ball on the 10. Second down and eight. George bows under center. Looking, 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 looking. Oh, you bailed on Taylor. He took it. Didn't get much there. Third down and six. Biggest third down of the game. Will Dan use his chub? Will Dan throw that chubby around and smack Prime right in the face and get the stop where he needs it the most? We don't know. We're watching. We're hoping for a good game. It was lit. It was fire. It was a low-scoring affair. 17 to 10. 6 10 to go. And tick tocking. I wouldn't be surprised if he runs it, boys. It's third and six. This is his time that he likes to surprise people with a run. Dan has to recognize. Can Dan rise up and play defense? Can he smack the door against Satan? Taylor running. He says, fuck you. Tutty Colts. And we have a ball game. Wow. Too hot, hot damn. Call the police and the fire, man. We got 16-17. Can he make it 17-17 on the leg of Boswell? Got it. All knotted up, 5.46 to go. If you're just tuning in, Prime had a 10-7 lead just seconds before the half. He called Hail Mary. I questioned it before he even threw the damn ball. He was hit as he threw. It was intercepted. And Bomber, or excuse me, ever since Bomber joined the chat, I keep on talking. I got him on my mind now. Dirty Dan got the tutty. Dirty Dan kind of got a lead. And Prime just went on one of the biggest drives of the game. Tied her up. There you are. You're caught up. 17-17, 5.43 to go. I would expect RPOs back with the running game. The Dirty Dan method. He hasn't thrown an RPO yet, so I wouldn't be surprised if he just tries to squeak one out. He's been running it. First and 10. He's going to check out of that. He says, no, sir. And back to it. Prime watching the bubble screen. I just noticed that. He shot right out. So apparently he's either noticing there's a lot of these bubbles called. What's up, crazy syrup, syrup guy? Yeah, Dan's chubby is getting much bigger. McDowell, shotgun. I'd watch the seam to Kelsey. He's been preferring those. Ba oh, and an out route too, though. Prime covered it well initially. Wow. Surprised that one wasn't picked. Is that third down? It's third down. Wow. Third down to nine. Five oh nine to go. Ball on the twenty three. You don't want to make a big mistake here. I mean, check it down. Your running back. See what happens. Don't give prime momentum on turnover, Dan. I'm telling you, it's not just a punt. Well, I've seen this play. I've seen him call this play too. That crazy C route. Here we go. McDowell looking. McDowell still looking. He's got truck. And he got smacked in the face with it. Bad passing game here for Dirty Dan. 17 17. He's forced to punt. If it's. If you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen, boys. This one is getting sweaty. It's getting sweaty. Nice. Enjoy that, man. Dallas Cowboys, 100-41. to 41. You sound like a pretty good player. I don't want to play against you. I get my cheeks clapped enough. Colts going shotgun from the 29. George, hand off to Taylor. Maybe he shouldn't have bounced it back, but he got a positive gain there. 18 carries, 55 yards, two touchdowns. I mean, Dan knows what's coming. He just can't quite stuff it. I don't know who Haley was, but he wanted a formation sub Haley in there. Maybe a safety playing nickel for some support. Yep, that's exactly what that was. Third down. Another big third down. Third down and five. Can Prime get a first down? I don't even know if he's attempted very many passes. I can't remember. He's probably got ten passes or less in this game right now. Four minutes and counting. Tie ball game. Prime taking his sweet time picking a play here. 
Looks like Dan's going to go dollar. Feeling good about himself. Taylor on the left. I think Taylor was his number. I mean, he had the guy there. Through, oh, that's a pick. He forced it up to Taylor. Or, excuse me, Metcalf. That one kind of served as a punt. That, that one's not too bad. Nice play there by the Broncos. Broncos football, another turnover. I think Prime missed the seam route to the tight end or whoever that was down the middle of the field. The old PS2 memory card. So we got trips left here. Trying to decide where he wants to run it at. 3.48 to go. Could be a battle. Stretch play. Bit, ooh, seven, eight yards there by Calais. Biggest thing for Dan right now is not to have a turnover. You give him good field possession, he's right back in this game. So just even if you true clock and punt, that's a win. Because he doesn't have a one play touchdown against you. Nice run there. Yates ripping it off right around midfield. I, I think that Dan's got this one, boys. He's going to be able just to pound the rock, take his check downs, two clock, and get a field goal. Prime may be out of, out of luck at this point. Neither team wanting to pass it. McDowell, handoff. Yates yet again. <laughs> Those animations are so terrible. Uh, he was hit hard and fell for forward for like four yards. There's, with that one, I mean, there's just no... About the only guy I've ever seen in the NFL do it was Blunt. But apparently every running back in Madden has the... Regardless of how hard you're hit, you fall forward. Anyway, second out of four. Two minutes and counting. We're right here at the two-minute warning. Cross midfield, Yates gets stuffed. Not much there. We're at third and two at the two-minute warning. Expect another run. Maybe four downs here for Dan. Boys, we got a tight one. Third and two. McDowell under center. Looks like he's got a stretch run. He's been doing more damage with the stretches, and he gets it. This cuts this one back up. Calais making a touchdown. Holding. This one's coming back. What the f what kind of run was that, dude? Wow. Prime said that he'd rather have the two minutes to go answer a touchdown. He got it. 24-17, a minute 53, all timeouts. Broncos lead 24-17. Trying to update the group me chat just in case anybody ain't watching. Got a big one. Big one going here. I don't think you could play the smash mouth dink and dunk offense anymore. It's not winning any of these big games against Dan. And you can't force it up to DK. you got to have a real offense that being reliant on abilities and X-Factors is not how you win championships, boys. George not getting any touchdowns. Yeah, there was no deep... No confidence in the defense there. The way that he was running at will. No confidence in his offense either. George rolling. I mean, he's got his running back, Taylor. Campbell. Big play there by Campbell down to the 28. Colts setting up business now. Minute 38 and ticking. We could have overtime. Two teams so good. Regulation wasn't good enough. Let's see what happens. Have a little faith. Or maybe some divine intervention. George. Hand off to Taylor. Taylor putting the team on his back. 
Only 20 carries, 61 yards, two touchdowns. But he's had some key runs. Prime trying to keep him honest, keep him thinking about the running game. He's got all three timeouts. He hasn't used any. Trap run. Taylor, first down. Ball at the 16. He's still letting the clock roll, folks. Will this bite him in the ass? We don't know. Dan's defense is that little chihuahua. He's nipping at that ass. He's trying to get it. Hopefully he don't latch on for prime's sake. 24-17, 36 seconds to go. Colts down by seven. Let a lot of time take off there, Bubba. All right, we got George. Looks like we got another either dollar or nickel 335 for Dan. George, screen. It was read well by Dan. I think he influenced enough by eating up that blocker. Loss of three. That's the second time. Well, he hit the wide receiver screen that was blown up. I don't know if he had another halfback screen that was blown up. But Dan reading those well. Prime not getting those boo-boo plays. Who we got? Second down and 13, 31 seconds. One timeout left. Laying all the cards on the table. Can you get a Royal Flush? He's manning up on the tight end. Probably going to rush three guys. He had Taylor initially. He took Campbell. And that's going to set up third down. Third down and nine. No timeouts left. 25 seconds. Ball at the 15. I don't think Prime's going to get it done. He doesn't. His red zone scoring is not there. He just doesn't really have the... If he can't run it in, he doesn't seem to have those scoring plays and he just doesn't have the explosive offense that he once did especially when you know guys like Bomber and Dan have reviewed the film they know what's coming they're able to plot against it a little bit better third down and nine Dan biggest play of the game can prime convert or will Dan slam the door shut is this the final offering tick tock five four George with a snap George looking nobody open there's just men everywhere. He throws it away. Wow. He couldn't run it. You can't call a running play because I don't think he would have got another another play call. So it comes down to this, and I think it's a GG. It's going to come back to that pick six at the half. Biggest bonehead move of the season, possibly, for primetime 0, 0, 0. Fourth down and nine. If he gets this, I mean, he may be you know, the most clutch player in the SML still I don't think he's got it we'll see George shotgun uh, I didn't see who we manned up on Njoku that time but I do know he's got somebody manned up on Njoku I would man up on Taylor but I think he's just going to try to take that away himself 20 seconds you can get a playoff if you get the first down it's going to be close nothing he had a guy right there too late though And that first down is brought to you by Tiny Titan. Holy shit. We've got first and goal, 11 seconds to go from the five. Wow. Well, if you can't be good, just throw it to the stars. A lot of time there. And DK bailed him out. Bailed out the automobile company. First and goal. So do you run it? He may just say, fuck it, I'm going to run it. There's so much coverage. It's a pass. It's a pass, boys. First and goal. I if you I do a first read and throw it away. Let's see what he does. George looking. Nothing. Nothing. Six seconds to go. Wow. Boys, this one is turning into a real classic here. We've got 24-17. Broncos with the lead. Six seconds to go. Ball in the five. Tiny Titan traded away DK Metcalf. He's right there. Watch DK. Watch Taylor. Nobody else matters. He's not going to throw it to anybody else. This is The game's on the line. He's probably going to throw it up to DK and live and die by that, I would say. Six seconds to go. George, looking, looking. Nobody open. Not a soul. He got it away, and there's still one second to go. Oof. I don't know. I would probably just run it because at this point, you've been totally locked down. I would come out shotgun, try to run it. You got nobody open. Or try a screen. 
I just I don't like your ability to drop back and pass on him. He's got it all locked down. There's a good roughing the passer call. If you're a Colts fan here, which I am bipartisan AF. It's not letting me switch back to my other tab. Biggest play of the game. First and goal. Taylor with the touchdown. I called it. He had to run it. This is, but do not discount this extra point. His internet is garbage. He may miss the extra point. He may say fuck it and go for two. Let's see what happens. Regu the time has ticked zero. The fat lady is trying to sing. She's got a little, oh, we're going for two. We're going for two. He doesn't want to play for overtime. He wants to play for two. Wow. Prime, big brass ones. Two-point conversion. Going for the two for the win. Oh! Intercepted, and that's the game. Dan holds on, 24-23. Not sure what DK was doing there. But hey, you'll have that. GG's. Wow. I'm going to try to get Prime on this real quick and see. What a tough game. GG's, boys. GG's. Wow. Still riding hard on that one. If you missed it, what a finish it was. We're going to try to bring Prime on the show real quick here. See if he's got time. I'll shoot him a message to see if he wants to talk or not. But wait, what a game. Kind of a crazy end to it. You saw the... The roughing the passer, it set it up. Taylor got it in there. I personally would have kicked a field goal, but that I mean, it just shows you that he has obviously no faith in the defense and really didn't like his chances of scoring or something. I don't know. I guess he just, or maybe he had that much confidence in that play. Wow. Wow. Still a little bit in shock about the whole thing. The Colts ran a lot of plays. I didn't realize that George wound up throwing it 27 times. Preacher man with 10 passes or less and 16 runs. 17 runs if you count the quarterback run. Interesting. I'm trying to get Prime on. Maybe we'll get Dan on. Let's see. Let's see if I can hear it through my headphones. Are uh, you going to hop on Discord? All right. Yeah. Bye. Prime's coming on, boys. We're going to do a post game. We're going to hit him with the hard-hitting questions. What a broadcast. And it's just a regular season game. I'm putting all this effort in for you, for you, the people at home. Oh, here we go. All right, boys, we're bringing him on. It was... Crazy game, but we got 17 time champion. Prime yes. time zero zero zero. Hey, um, couple questions. Yes, yes. First of all, what the fuck? Um, the hail mary. Before yeah, that was a, that was a that was a bad decision. You know, uh, sometimes you make bad decisions, and I'll chalk that one up to a bad decision. That, uh, I think that changed the whole I, landscape of the game. Yeah, I was I dominated in the first half, and I, I just and then you had nothing in the second half. 
I made a mistake and you know hindsight's twenty twenty. obviously I was trying to get a cheap PI that's probably karma for, for trying to do that yeah for sure so one thing I noticed in these games with Dan you don't have the explosive passing plays against him between the pass rush and his uh his coverage ability you know like his corners are good his users good is that kind of concerning moving forward or are you just going to keep trying because both maybe the last three games i've seen you play dan you've tried just to grind it out <coughs> with the run game and take check downs um yeah is that enough to beat him to run it and get the check downs i mean obviously today taylor had what 22 carries 70 yards I and mean, he had three touchdowns but not really moving the ball that well yeah i, I think that is the recipe uh you know at the end of the day, I've played him, what is this, four four times now, and, and this time, you know, I came up short, but most guys have trouble throwing it deep, so I've had some success just checking it down and, and running the ball. He knows most of my plays through studying, yeah. so so I'm not going to run him, um, or I'm not going to run him like I normally would. Um, you know, I one missed pass, my quarterback said dead eye on that, on that flipped RPO. If, if he puts that on the money, that, that's, a, that's a win, and we're talking about how the how the grind it out Dan can't beat a grind it out offense, I guess. So, so it goes both ways, I guess. Did you notice that he loaded the box a lot? And especially like in the second half, he started, I don't know if it was show blitz or press cover, but he was playing like cover. Cause if you play cover four uh, or quarters, not quarters itself, not quarter, but quarters where you got the four uh, blues, that's kind of puts the safeties in a run fit. Now, did you have yeah. to notice that all them safety started playing? I even think that he formation subbed, a uh, safety in at the nickel that he was using on a couple of plays to stop the run. Did you <coughs> notice all those changes or, or no? Uh, I didn't notice them all. I, I noticed he was playing up a little bit more maybe in the second half after I gashed him. Um, that that interception kind of took me out of it for, yeah. for half the third quarter. Then I kind of got my bearings back and kind of fought back. Um, you know, I, I think I, I can still throw on him. I can I can run the ball efficiently against him, and, and that's all you can ask. His defense is a top. Oops. Hey, what's going on? Hang man? on just a second. I, I, I'm still on with Prime. My bad. Okay. Oopsie. I screwed up. Hey, uh, I actually, yeah. I clicked on Dan's on mistake. I didn't know it was going to – I thought it would join everybody. But uh, – we can we can make a we can make a three way call. I can do that. No, real quick. we'll just we'll finish up with you, and then I'll go back to Dan. Um, so I, I cut you off. Go ahead and finish. Yeah, I, I noticed his adjustments, but I, I felt that I was still doing enough to battle back and win. And you know, I, I would still call that RPO again. I would still throw the same pass. I guess Faz put in chat that there's a glitch. Like if you flip an RPO, yeah, they that. automatically miss the throw. I, I feel like I made the right read, and you know, I've I've won a lot of games by doing aggressive play calls. And you're gonna you're gonna lose some as well. Do you regret uh, calling the RPO, or instead of kicking the extra point and going for overtime? Oh no, not at all. I. What was your decision behind that? Um, with Madden, it wasn't playoffs. So if he got the ball, he was either gonna tick off four minutes, and it was gonna be a tie, or he was sure. gonna win the game if he got the got the coin flip. All I needed was two yards. I had a 99 overall running back who I thought he was going to commit to, which he did, and I had a 95 overall receiver on the other side. I, I felt the numbers were in my favor, and um, you know I, I trust myself to score on a two-pointer. And I missed it. Hey, good news is it's it's week eight. It's not week 18. And uh, uh, for the yeah. fan, for the fans, let's go ahead and bring both of you on the same time. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. All right. Hold on. What you said. I don't know how to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hold up. All right. Let's see what we can pull off here. How about this? Dan. Field General. Create group DM. All right. I'm going to call you in a, in a separate chat. All right. Dan going in the free agency immediately. Must be looking for a replacement for Hamler. Hamler must be missing some time. <coughs> All right, we'll see if we All get right. Dan on here with us real quick. Is he on or no? Or I think so. I think tell? he's here. Okay. Hello there. 
Hey, Dan, um, I got a couple individual questions for you. Congrats on the win, man. Uh, it was a wild, wild regular season game. I think a lot of people enjoyed it. What did you think about the Hail Mary before the half? Are you a Hail Mary before the half guy, or would you just uh, hand that off? Okay, yeah, can, can you hear me? Yeah. Can okay. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm not sure if it picked up on my phone or, or on my um, iPad. Um, yeah, man, it was it was just um, you know just just kind of a wild game with uh, kind of kind of some crazy swings there. Obviously, the interception at the end of the first half, um, you know, was was just pure luck and, and a huge swing to to go up for that. Uh, with him getting the ball in the second half, that that put a little bit more pressure on him than than me. So. Uh, that helped out a lot. Um, sure. You know, we, we just kind of, kind of both again, just like the playoff game, we just kind of both go back and forth. Both of us made some mistakes. Both of us got some stops. Both of us, both of us made some big third down plays. And then yeah, you know, that last drive he had was just insane about, you know, <laughs> two, three, four, maybe five different chances. Uh, when I thought I had it won and, and he just kept coming around and around, I was like, man, I'm destined to lose this game just the way it was going. What'd you think about the uh, two? I thought it was a great call. Um, you know, Faz says uh, there's a little glitch, I guess, when you switch. I, I don't. I didn't know that. I don't know that either. Um, I thought it was the right read, right call. Um, you know, I was just I was bringing everybody. I was blitzing everybody. I was mm-hmm. just gonna. I was not gonna let Taylor run it in. I was gonna force him to try to throw it. And you know, luckily, uh, luckily George, uh, Ail, uh, you know, threw it over the head, and, and I got the pick. So, I mean, you guys are the BSML preachers. Prime's done his thing before. Now you have kind of taking the full time preacher man role here. You both have the grind it out, ground the pond, checked on, unimpressive offense. What is going on with this trend here? Uh, I think it's just we both know each other well. I think we, you know, we've got uh, good defenses. We, we set up our defenses, you know, to try to get as much pressure and stop the run as we can and then force guys into throwing. And, mm-hmm. and then we just run around with our users. So um, I, I had a little bit of a, a delay that game, which made it hard on some of my throws. Right. Um, you know, and I, and I only got 27 plays, so I didn't really get a chance to get into much of a rhythm. Um, but, you know, it's just the way the game goes sometimes. And, and, and you got to be able to, again, I think if you're going to be one of the elite players, especially in a top league like SML, you got to be able to, to win a grind out game, a shootout game, you got to win, right. you know, all sorts of different styles. So, um, you know, I, I realized after my pretty bad first drive that I was like, all right, I got to get back to just taking what's there and, and moving as I can. And um, I don't think I, I think I had one pass over like 10 yards all game. So uh, I didn't do much in the air at all. Do you think the injury to Hamler is going to have a long term effect on your season? Uh, it's, it's Judy. Uh, Judy, Judy I'm sorry. Him. Yeah. That's all right. Um, I was just going to comment that he just turned, he just got his 99 overall right before the game. Uh, now he's out six weeks. Uh, no, I, I, I don't think it'll be, I don't think it'll affect me long term. Um, I've got enough weapons. I've got enough things I can do. Um, you know, if he was out for the playoffs, yeah, that, that would be a problem. But uh, I, I've got enough guys that I, I can afford uh, some, some injuries out there. So Prime's been a yapping little puppy for days now, <laughs> putting these videos out, really trying to, entice some type of reaction you get in your head did any of that play did that bulletin board material play any type of effect on this game for you i mean were you coming out going for the jugular were you trying to make a statement out here tonight or did that even affect you in any way no no i mean it's fun i could you know i I hopefully give it back to him a little bit and um you know I, i had more to prove than he did you know he's beat me three three times significantly this year so i had to at least get one uh i don't i don't think that that was a significant win by any stretch but it was at least a win, and so, um, you know, uh, it, it was probably more on my shoulders to do that, and, and he, he had at every position to, to say what he said. So, um, obviously, uh, uh, you know, we'll hopefully see each other again, and the way the last two games have gone over time, and, I mean, it was almost identical game. I mean, it's just back punch for punch, touchdown for touchdown, and, and no one got above one score, and uh, it came down to the wire again, so. It was a great game. Prime, I'm going to turn it over to you real quick. And if yeah. you got any type of rhetoric or anything you want to throw at Dirty Dan, <laughs> Mike's yours. Go yeah, ahead. yes, yes. No, uh, Dan, good game as usual. Um, you know, I uh, – how should I say? It, it was a good knock, you know. And yeah. I, I think I think that I think that uh, it, was, it was probably well-deserved. Uh, you know, we, we made a few videos here and there. We said a few things. But, but at the end of the day, um, I, I felt like I made you earn it. 
and come yeah. playoff time, I'm still going to come and I'm going to beat that ass, Dan. Your little preacher, <laughs> preacher ass. You ain't got nothing on me, so be ready for playoffs coming up, buddy. Hey, what, what you better yeah. be worried about if you notice there's a trend happening. So What's the trend? The first I'm ready. game, you beat me by 10. Yes. The second game, you beat me by 7. Down so every yes. time. Six. Now I beat you let's, by – you see which way the trend's going. So that's I know, true. I, I know you think you're a, a stock wizard and, and you know all these penny stocks, but I, you better read the trends, man. The trends uh, not this, that's true. Them. I'm feeling, feeling a little bullish right now. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But, hey, man, good game. I'm glad yeah, – I'm glad I made you made you uh, made you earn it, and you didn't beat up on me like you beat up on your Bushwhacker counterpart. <laughs> easy now, easy there. Bomber, bombers number one in my heart always. <laughs> Dan, or next, okay. yeah, Dan. Do you have any closing statements? No, no. I mean, uh, again, hopefully for those that are out there, this is what the SML is about. So we're excited to uh, have these battles, and uh, like Prime said, you know, this is just the the appetizer before the the main course of playoffs coming up. So let's get it yes. going. Yes, yes. Gentlemen, GG's, appreciate it. It was yeah. a great game. Um, yeah, I mean, just congrats to both of you. It was a really competitive game. It was awesome to watch. Appreciate it. See ya. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Fields. We clear. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off here. Thanks for tuning in. We've had anywhere from 15 to 30 viewers. We're down to eight right now, so I'm sure everyone's tired of listening going on an hour and a half. If you haven't yet, follow us on the Sim Madden League Twitch. If you want to be part of this league, simmadenleague.com, dadleagues.com slash SML. SML Primer has some spots open. Gentlemen, GG's. Good night. We'll catch you later.